Hi, and welcome to Scott Equipment Company's Automation Simplified video series. Today, we're going to talk about smart sensors. Hi, I'm Phil Lister, one of the product specialists at Scott Equipment Company here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Manufacturers of smart sensors claim that they can assist with predictive maintenance and therefore reduce downtime. And as we know, reducing downtime can save money. In some cases, lots of money. So let's take a moment to look under the hood of a smart sensor and see what we can find. So the cool thing about MTS sensors, TempoLink Smart Assistant, is there's two ways to connect to it. One is wirelessly. So you can take a smartphone or a tablet or your laptop and just power up the TempoLink and you'll see a network called uh, TempoLink. You can connect to that, use a serial number off the TempoLink Smart Assistant itself as your password. And then when you pull up a web browser and type in tempolink.local, you have access to the information that we're gonna look at next, all right? One of the most common types of magnetostrictive sensors offered by MTS um, is like this. So where you take a simple sensor, which has a waveguide along the tube, and you can take a north facing magnet and as that magnet's moving up along the sensor you get constant feedback but the additional things you can find are this if we take a look at the web browser interface which we access through this tempo link smart assistant we see a lot of useful information which i'm going to show you next so now looking at the web browser i'm using where i've typed in tempo link dot local in the url i now see the tempo link web browser interface so now as i look at the position of the magnet, which is the most common thing you're going to use for this technology, you'll see here that for the sensor I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at you know 2.6, you know 3.2. So anytime I move the magnet, I'm getting the feedback I want. But I can also look and see at things like what they call lifetime statistics. And here, as I scroll down, I see additional information such as the odometer the max temperature, the min temperature, um, temperature uh, variations, uh, the max and min voltages. And another thing you can see while we're here is the MTS uh, TempoLink Smart Assistant also lets you look at things such as uh, the actual interface, for example. Looking at my analog sensor, if I wanted to do something like change it from 4 to 20 to 24, I can do this. I type in command and OK. And now you'll see these pencils, which lets you know you can edit or modify these values. So in the case of the current output, I'm going to change it from 20 to 4, which is what it's currently set for. I'm going to make this one 4 to 20. And it's truly this simple. I submitted that, and it now shows I went from 20 to 4 to 4 to 20. If I scroll down and click Exit Command Mode, save and exit. I have now reconfigured this analog sensor from 20 to 4 to 4 to 20. It was that simple. As more and more customers migrate away from the traditional SSI and analog output sensors which MTS sensors offers, many of them are switching over to an industrial ethernet sensor. And the most common thing that controls engineers have to do in regards to configuring or setting up these sensors is set the IP address for something unique for their application. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to switch from analog over to my industrial ethernet sensor. And then when I go back to my sensor screen, I see now it's set for ethernet IP. And if I go down to parameters and then to interface, you will see the unique IP address set for this particular sensor. Once again, I'm going to enter command mode. And you now see the pencil pop up right next to the IP address. So here, I'm going to modify this. It's currently set for 192.168.100.23. And I'm going to make that 99. For the last octet, submit, exit command mode, save and exit. And there you see the, the new IP address, 192.168.100.99. It's, it's that simple. All right, to quickly recap, we showed you several things. We took the MTS sensors, 
TempoLink Smart Assistant, which can be adapted to any of their fifth gen R series sensors. And we showed you how to view the smart sensor uh, features, which they call lifetime statistics. We also showed you how to take a common analog output and invert that output signal. And we also showed you how to take an industrial ethernet sensor and modify to a unique IP address. So hope you enjoyed Scott Equipment Company's automation simplified video. And if you want more information, just click on the link below. Thank you.